This is Wunderbit Trading and today we're gonna show you a quick guide on how to trade on Binance with margin. And in front of you you can see the Binance um, exchange. We are currently under the wallet section and under the margin tab. So in order to start trading with margin, first thing you have to do, you need to have at least some funds at your account. Secondly, you need to transfer those funds into the margin account. I'm trading from the USDT pairs, so I will transfer my USDT here. In order to do that, you need to select from which account it's coming, exchange wallet, into the margin account. And let me put 500 as an example and confirm transfer. Thirdly, this money will show on your margin wallet and now you can borrow additional funds to what you've already transferred. Click on borrow and repay. And here you can see what will be the hourly interest rate for your particular currency, the maximum borrowed amount, and usually it's twice the amount you have on your margin account. Uh, so let's put all of it to our margin account. You can see that the total amount of the USDT increased to 1,500 in particular, and now we can start trading with it. So let's switch to the Binance exchange. As soon as you switch to the Binance exchange, you need to make sure that the pair you would like to trade is actually trading on a margin uh, exchange. And if it uh, does so, like BTC USDT, there is a tab here which will switch it to the margin tab. Now you can see that we got our 1,500, which we already borrowed, and this is the amount we can trade with right now. So if you would like, we can place an order to buy Bitcoin uh, at this particular price. We currently have a very good fluctuation and the volatility is quite good. So let's place a trade. We'll do a market order trade. Just for the sake of the example, we'll put a market order on half of our portfolio. We'll place 50% and just press buy Bitcoin. You can see that the market order was created and the, borrow, the amount left in our portfolio is 750, so we bought exact, exactly 50%. When you switch back to the margin tab, your dashboard starts to run and it will show you whether you're making any gain or losses starting from the position where you entered. It also shows you the equity which is currently was borrowed and in place for this particular trade. And at the same time, as soon as you will finish it, it will update the dashboard. So here the price quickly went up just slightly, just uh, $1. And what we intend to do is to finish our deal. So we're gonna sell the Bitcoin that we currently have, all 100% of it, and just press sell button. A market sell order was created. And now we have 1,498. We are in a slight loss due to volatility, but what you need to do when you finished with the margin funds that you are actually borrowed from Binance is repay them back plus the interest. So for that, you can go back to the previous margin wallet tab. You can see that after finishing with the deal, we are in a loss of $1.49. And at the same time, there's still a borrowed amount of um, 1,000, which is holding to us. And now we have to repay it back. So select the repay tab, 100% if you want to repay everything, plus the commission and confirm the payment. At this point, your margin account is not going to be charged anymore with any interest or any percent and you can trade with the funds which are available here. One another aspect to take into the account when you're trading with margin on Binance is the margin data. This tab will show you all the information in terms of the daily interest and the yearly interest for each currency which can be traded on margin. The largest one would be actually Binance, you can see it over here. 
and most of them are around 7.3 yearly interest. So be very careful while trading on margin, this can be highly risky and stay tuned to Wunderbit Trading.